Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make HTTP requests using AngularJS and the Ionic framework. Uh, this tutorial works for both Android and iOS and is incredibly useful when you want to contact the RESTful API. I have a write-up of, of this video on my web blog which I am going to include in the description of this particular video. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new Ionic Framework project. And then let's navigate into the directory and add the Android platform. Now if I was on a Mac, I would also do uh, Ionic Platform add iOS, but since I'm on Ubuntu Linux, it is incompatible with uh, iOS. But the tutorial works perfectly fine with iOS projects as well. So let's go ahead and open up the project that we just created. And we're going to go to the JavaScript folder and edit app.js. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a new controller. After we change some stuff here. So let's go ahead and create a new controller called example controller. And we're going to include the scope and HTTP requirements. All right. So next up, we want to go ahead and create a function which we'll call in order to make our HTTP request. So because Ionic Framework just uses AngularJS, if you're familiar with AngularJS, you're going to be using the HTTP get method. And we're going to include a URL. So I, I found this useful site, jsontest.com, and it allows you con to construct test requests. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for the purposes of this tutorial. But if you want to go ahead and use a different uh, web service, that's perfectly up to you. That's fine. It's, it's up to you. So let's go ahead and include that. All right, and if you wanted to add parameters, you would just do something like this. And then for our success callback, let's go ahead and expect the first name. the last name. And then if it fails, we're just going to throw an alert. Alright, so in this particular example, the parameters are just going to be ignored um, by this jsontest.com website that I'm using. But this, this is the correct way if you want to pass parameters into the web service. So let's go ahead and open up our index.html file. We're going to go ahead and add some stuff. So we're going to add our controller. And we're going to go ahead and create a button which is going to call our function. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what happens when we open up this in Firefox. Alright, so we've got a button. Everything looks great. So let's go ahead and if we click it, nothing's really going to happen because we don't have it present the data anywhere. So let's go ahead and add another area. So 
So to start, everything's blank. But when I click this, it shows my first and last name because that was what was returned in the response. So let's go ahead and uh, compile this for the device. Again, if you're on a Mac, you can also build this for iOS as well. But since I'm not on a Mac, I can't do that. Alright, now that's built, let's go ahead and install it. So let's go ahead and try it on our simulator here. And of course, it, it works just like expected. Let's go ahead and, and open up a new scenario here uh, for troubleshooting because when you test APIs and uh, use HTTP services, you're gonna run into problems quite frequently. So let's go to the desktop. I've already created a test file and I'll explain it in a moment. So what I did here was I launched a, a simple Python server which had um, an example JSON file with the same data. So if I go ahead and change this in our code to point to this new file. And run it in Firefox. Let me first to open up our inspector. So I clicked it and something went wrong. And it went wrong because of a cross origin uh, problem, cores. And you'll notice this quite frequently when working with APIs and JavaScript. Uh, but don't worry, this does not affect the device. You shouldn't get these errors when you're running from the actual device because it's it, it does things a little differently than the web browser. But I also have a different uh, write-up on this topic. So you can, it'll show you how to get rid of these errors in your web browser for testing. And you can, you can find this on my blog. So just like that, what we've done is we've shown you how to make HTTP requests to a web server to get web service uh, API data, which is incredibly useful. You could use it to populate a database. You can, you can do all kinds of great stuff with it. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and follow my, subscribe to my channel as well as my web blog. There's going to be a lot more great content to come. Thank you.